Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm so excited that you're here with me today to show you my non-workout workout. Yes, that's right, it's my workout secret. Shh. And it's a secret because it's kind of like I don't work out, but yet what I do enables me to stay kind of thin and enables me to stay kind of toned. Well, maybe not as toned as I used to be, but you know, pretty toned for 60 years young. Yes, that's right, I'm 60 years young. And I like that phrase, whatever age you are, blah, 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 years young, because you are only as young as you feel. And part of feeling and looking good is to stay physically fit. Now, when I was in my 30s, I was very conscious of working out. I would work out with my sister at the Y or at Genesis, a local club. And I would do a lot of workout tapes with weights and they would be like 30 minutes long, some of them up to an hour long. But then I got arthritis and that's a long story and I really need to do a video about my arthritis because I don't have it anymore. Uh, it's debatable that I ever really had it. It may have been misdiagnosis. It may have been breast implants that I had removed. I don't know. But suffice it to say I no longer have the arthritis so I don't have the joint pain and I can now work out again. But being 60 years young, I have lost the intense motivation I had when I was in my 30s to work out. So what I did was I took the absolute best things from my workouts that I learned over decades of doing working out and I put them in kind of an automatic format so you can do little bits of these kind of very effective workouts all through your day to where you don't even really notice that you've worked out. This is a brand new idea. I have never heard this before. My son has a wheel company and he's got three or four or five patents and if I could patent this exercise workout, this non-workout, I would because sometimes I think every now and then you end up thinking outside of the box and you know it doesn't happen often for me but I think in this case I did and I think the secret is just phenomenal and I think it can really help you if you're like me and a little bit on the lazy side in terms of workouts. Now before we get into that if you're not a subscriber I hope you'll click that little bell. We're all into youthing here and beauty and makeup and just feeling good. If you'd like to have a better second half than your first half Let's work on that together and please consider subscribing. Okay, now I will say that there is a little bit of a workout involved, which is my little arm workout, which only takes 10 minutes and I only do it three times a week. And I'm not going to bore you with that because I just did that video, but I'll link it below. It's a little 10 minute arm routine. I call it my arm blaster. And it really does a beautiful job of sculpting and toning your arms and keeping those dreaded bat wings away. But my little non-workout does not involve barbells here. Here's my secret. Through the years I learned that those little arm weights are about the best way that you can use to really have sculpted toned arms and to keep the bat wings at bay. And so that is one half of my little non-workout. That takes care of your arms and shoulders. Now the second half of my workout though takes care of everything from here down. And I got this workout from Billy Blanks of Tybo fame. I absolutely love his workouts. I did them for many years. In fact, I still do them every now and then when I decide I want to be less lazy and I'll go in and pop in an old Billy Blanks tape. And you can even find them on YouTube. I will link them below because I really think his workouts are the best way to sculpt your lower body. That and Shear's workouts. And basically what I did to create this non-workout is I used a lot of the exercises from Billy Blanks and some of the exercises from Cher that are great at sculpting your lower body. Since I don't like working out, I decided to take an activity that we all do every day and tie little bits of exercise with that activity. And the activity that we do all day, every day, all of us, is drum roll, we go to the potty. Yes, that's right. There's not one of you out there who does not do that. And what I have done is every time I do that particular activity, afterwards I do a little bit of exercise. And here's what I do. After I've gone to the potty, and most of the time during the day, I'm at work, so I do this in the work restroom, but I also do it when I'm at home, once I do my business, then I do my other business, which is to help my body and to help my health. And so the first one I do is just squats. And I am up to 30 squats a time. Sometimes I do 20, but you know, even if you do five or 10, just get started and very soon you will end up doing more squats. And squats are fabulous for your hips and thighs. They really lean us out here. And let me turn to the side because there are some rules that you need to follow when you do these. And the first one is do it like you're sitting on the potty. When you do squats, you're going to always keep your knees over your toes. So you're not going to squat like this because that is very hard on your knees and would be very bad for you. What you're going to do is a squat like this. And as you can see, I am just squatting and it's almost like I'm sitting in a chair 
And so you just do that. It's a great thigh toner. And I just will do 30 of these after I've done my business. And so that's what I do there. And then I got this from Cher, and Billy Blanks does these too a little bit. You do the same thing, but you do a plie, and you're going to do the squat like this, and keep your knees out, and keep them over your toes. Don't go any further out than the top of your toes. In other words, well, I don't have enough width here to show you, but you just keep them out like this. Keep your rump tucked in and your tummy pulled in, and don't go clear up because you want to put more stress on your thighs. Go about an inch to the top or two and go back down. And I do 30 of those. And really in Billy Blank's workout, you're only doing maybe 40, 45. So 30 is really a good thing to do. Okay, and sometimes if I'm in a hurry, I'll just do those two. And then the next time I come to the restroom, I usually do front kicks and back kicks and I'll show you those. And you're just going to put your arms right here, keep your tummy tucked in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now I normally do 30 of those. And then you're going to do back kicks and those front kicks, not only do they get your thighs really nicely, they also sculpt your abs here, which is wonderful. So just keep your tummy pulled in when you do it. And then when you do your back kicks, you're going to go one, two, three, and look back at your foot when you kick. And you're getting those glutes. And it's very, very effective at improving your rump, although I have a very small rump. <laughs> I don't know, I think I need to do more of those to boost this baby up. Now again, the first bathroom visit of the day, you've done squats, and you've done plies, the first one. And the second one, you've done front kicks and back kicks. Now the third one, we're going to do side kicks, and these just sculpt everything from the hips down. If you want to have a nice smooth line there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And you always bend the knee you're standing on, very important not to have a straight leg because you want to be easier on your back. And then you do the other side. I won't do that because I'll kick my couch. Now the fourth set of movements you're going to do is little crunches like this, which are very good for your abs, two, three, four, bend the bottom leg, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, hold the tummy in, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then you do that on the other side. Depending upon the time that I have, I just kind of mix these up through the day. Like maybe the first go round, I might do the squats and the plies, and then I might do front kicks and then I'll do the back kicks the next time. You know, it doesn't have to be that with every bathroom visit, you do exactly the same things. Ooh, I am worn out. And I will tell you, that is the really cool thing about these exercises, is you would think that, oh, she's just doing toning. It doesn't help your health at all. Well, number one, toning is good. But number two, this out of breath feeling that I'm getting right now, this is aerobic exercise. But when you just do a couple of little exercises at each bathroom visit, you're not going to get so winded that you sweat or anything like that. And another thing about these exercises, in addition to toning your body, I've been doing them for about the past two months, and I think it's really helping tone my hips and thighs especially, is that they lift your mood. Because every time you get your heart rate up a little bit, you are releasing endorphins and serotonin in your body. Those are the feel-good chemicals that just make us feel good about ourselves, good about others, and make us have a wonderful day. And I know I've thrown a lot at you with these exercises, so below the video I'm going to post a brief description of each one of them so you remember. In fact, you can probably copy it and paste it and take it with you in your purse. And that little non-exercise exercise routine is what I've been using for the past couple of months. And it has really been toning up my midsection. It's been toning up my hips and thighs. One thing I'd really noticed about my thighs as I passed the big 6-0 was that things were just getting lumpy and bumpy and I was not liking the idea of wearing shorts. 
because it just seemed like the skin was just hanging and I thought, oh, that's probably just hormones. You know, that happens to everyone who gets older. And then I realized once I started doing these exercises that yes, you know, you do have a little sagging skin as you get to be older, but I saw this fantastic 80 plus year old female bodybuilder, the world's oldest female bodybuilder, and she is 84 years old and she does not have sagging skin. She does not have hanging skin. She has a beautiful tight toned body and I will put a link to her information below because she just inspires the heck out of me. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in making your second half your best half, that's what we're all about here at this channel at 50 Plus Beauty is learning good makeup, skincare, attitude techniques, exercise techniques, all designed to help make our second half our best half. And normally I'd leave you with a little thought for the day, but I use these cards from Louise Hay and I don't have them out with me in the family room here. So if I can leave you with anything, it is something that I have come to realize recently and I want to incorporate it more and more into my channel. I really want to help all of us have a better second half. I've been on YouTube maybe a little more than a year and I realized I was doing a lot of makeup videos and some skincare videos and this skincare is extremely helpful because I think all of us that are doing these things like Retin-A, we're seeing our skin improve and that makes us feel so good. But I realized one of the best things we can do to truly make our second half our best half is to stay healthy. And so that is something that I want to incorporate into my channel more and more. And if you're interested in that too, I hope you'll come on this wonderful journey. It can be a fabulous journey to make our second half our best half. Take care. See you next time.